This is Eric Mod with Mother.com. It is January 9th, 2020. Let's take a look at Tesla here, which is giving us a good example of the RSI 69.1 power. We can see here, even though it is slightly down for the day, for the week, the last couple of weeks, the stock has been on fire ever since it moved above the 69.1 threshold on its weekly RSI. So good example there of what happens when a stock moves above 69.1. We can see that this is also reflected on the daily. Take a look at the daily. Since October, we've had a couple of periods where the stock has moved above 69.1 and we can see the results of this powerful RSI level. So on the daily, we continue seeing that the stock continues to hold above the 69.1 on the daily, which might explain this recent acceleration in price. Now we can see the same thing if we take a look at the two hourly. Again, we've had a nice spike and this is because generally speaking over the last couple of weeks even on the two hourly the stock has held above RSI 69.1 now if we take a look at the monthly we can see that it is just now moving above 69.1 so the challenge here is that it needs to hold and stay above 69.1 if this is gonna be where it continues picking up momentum on the monthly time frame. So the monthly has been lagging, but now that the RSI is above 69.1, there is a probability of continued action to the upside on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, I should also say, if this becomes challenging and the monthly RSI is rejected when trying to move above 69.1, then we can conclude that this is where it starts stalling on a big picture monthly time frame. Keep in mind I've talked about this deep base and a breakout after that and in a previous video I mentioned that the problem with a deep base breakout is they tend to be very unstable so this continues to be an issue in my opinion so what could fix this is if the stock can settle down let's say trade around this area in price over the coming months and then eventually breakout now that breakout after some sideways monthly action might be stabilizing you know the formation of this chart otherwise this breakout from a very deep base was always a concern now let's bring in the rsi again we can see coming off the highs of late 2014 we can draw a line excuse me where we break down which is here take that info and draw our uniformity resistance line it should be something like that and we can see what I'm getting at here is we've had resistance here in 2015 before this multi-month pullback we had resistance here uniform activity above the line back again and also resistance on the line there for the highs here and here before we go into this ugly sideways multi-year move and now the question becomes are we going to be able to hold above the red line or is the red line going to become monthly resistance which has been the case since this initial break in 2014 more than five years ago so the red line and RSI 69.1 are the levels to watch. Holding above the red line and RSI 69.1 would be good for both. Resistance at the 69.1 level on the monthly and resistance on the red line would be bearish for bulls. Eric Mother, mother.com as always good luck, peace and blessings. E -S -S. <laughs>